you are still with us. Hallelujah. This morning, let us put our hands together for Brother Chayda as he comes to read the scripture for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for him this morning. Friday, February 23rd, 
at 7 p.m. with our general overseer and prophet Joel Walkboy. Come expecting it's your time and your season to dominate. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. FLM Combined Bible Study commands this Wednesday, February 21st, on Zoom platform with our general overseer and bishop, Prophet Joel Walkboy, at 7 p.m. sharp. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. FLM New Year Partnership Membership Program is scheduled for March. The date will be announced later. Amen. Amen. Also, we encourage you to tune into live prophetic healing and miracle deliverance service. FLM Georgetown, every Tuesday at 9 a.m. New York time, Facebook and YouTube. Amen? Amen. The window of opportunity is still open to register for the Ministered Fellowship West Indies Annual Leadership Conference scheduled for March 14 to 16. Zoom platform. All interested persons are kindly asked to register with the head of the administrative department, Deacon Sherilyn Morrison. Thank you for listening and continue to enjoy the presence of God. Amen. 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 It's time for to big up our God this morning. Hallelujah. All those who have borne in testimony, could you please go down to Deacon and Charlene at the end. Stick to the point. Say what God has done for you, not what the devil do to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I am a living testimony. What the Lord has done. What the Lord has done in my life. I can tell it. morning to everyone. Bless good morning Bishop, Pastor Delight, the entire leadership team, Pastor Camille. Good morning. I have here with me our sister. She's here to testify of the goodness of God. I will let her testify. Good morning church. Good morning. I want to give God the highest note of praise. Last year I was pregnant and when I came to church whilst I was about to leave Bishop said that somebody you're forgetting things. And I turned back. He said, you're not, you're not old, he's young. And I came, and he prophesied to me, and he said, told me certain things, and he said, on your day of delivery shall be a day of peace, a day of joy. And I want to say that on my day of delivery, I want to say everything was smooth, no complication, nothing, all the anemia, what I said, I had in pregnancy, nothing, I didn't have to say blood or anything. I want to give God the highest note of praise for the bishop. Sister Patricia, she's here to testify of the goodness of God. One word can change your life. Amen. Amen. I will let her testify. I want to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last year when was the anniversary of this church, the pastor prophesied for me, and I was delivered. My son was delivered, and pastor... It's three of us in my house. You only have met two of us. So the third one is there. You have to complete your job. You have to complete your job. He's there. You have to complete. And you still won't be finished with us. Thank you. Amen. God is good. God is good. He has got me well. Oh, my soul. Right on the praise of God. the left, if you have a testimony, we're going to have our deaconess Lucille Barker, and you can go that way if you have a burning testimony. Amen? You just keep it short and to the point. Amen? And those on this side, you can come to deaconess uh, Sherilyn Morrison. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you know that we have prophets in the house? Amen. And when they speak, it comes to pass. Amen. Our sister is here, is here to testify of the prophecy that she received, and it did. 
come to pass. Good morning, church. I just want to give God praise and thanks. Yeah. Pastor Camina has given me a word. But go to the university back. And I went back. Not only I went back, you know you had to get credit or you had to get somebody to pay. I got free. Free, 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 free. But not only that, I also got a job. That where was that? They nominate me. So I just want to give God praise and thanks. This year, everything is working out for my day. Yeah. 
earlier, you've been talking about elevated dominion. My sister, do you know what is that? No, sister. I don't know what that means. Okay, no problem. Let me ask Siri. Hey, Siri, what is elevated dominion? I'll ask Alexa. Alexa, what is elevated dominion? No, no, stop. Let me explain to you what elevated dominion means. Elevated. It might sound like a big word, but it's just one word with different meaning. Elevated. Moving from one level to another, going higher. Look at David. David was a shepherd boy, and God moved him from the back to the front and anointed him as king of Israel. Look at Joseph. Joseph was placed in a pit, and God moved him from the pit to the palace and anointed him as second in command. Dominion. To be in control, to rule over something. Genesis 1.28, the NIV, God said, God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in numbers. Fill the earth and subdue it. Oh, rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the skies and over every living creature that moves on ground. Do you know what that means? God is saying we are little gods on the earth. Oh, wow. You know, since I've been coming here, I've been reading the scripture, I've been dancing. God has been so amazing. What about you, my sister? Me too. Since I've been coming here, I've been reading the scripture, I've been doing drama, and I've even been singing from time to time. My grades in school, they went from C's to A's. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's so amazing. But you know, I now understand what they mean by dominion. Because let me tell you, these smartphones and smartwatches have been controlling me, telling me when to eat, sleep, wake up, even exercise. Can you believe it? But not anymore. After today, I will have control and I will have my dominion so I can move forward in life. What about you? I agree. I noticed that just because these phones have the word smart in them, that I think they're smarter than me. Mm -hmm. I must take back my dominion so that I can be elevated to a better level. Amen. Amen. I'm glad that you understand. This is our year of elevated dominion. I pray God continue to elevate us as we dominate in every area of our life. We have to dominate before God can elevate. Amen. Amen.
How 
can a man have one son? And God said, give me your son. He didn't even question God. Uh, that's a crazy man. When you are crazy for God, things will happen for you. You see, when people are too intelligent for God, that's why I love the song. I'm not that intelligent.
Grazie Dora, Gianni. Oh, 
a real man around you, demon can't stand around you. Can you say hallelujah? So listen, when I, at the, before the end of the year, a lot of you right now, you are going to have your own husbands.
wash. As far you are born again, child of God, as you stand here, hear the sound of my voice. I don't know who you are here. Maybe it's about your son. It's about your daughter. Maybe it's about your family that be going through. Ah, the Bible says there's a season for everything. I came to announce to somebody your season of shame is over. I don't know if I hear your name, it's over now. My shame is over. My shame is over. Say my shame is over. Say my shame is over. Say my shame is over. My shame is over. Is it of shame? You shall receive double honor. Is it of confusion? They shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. Yes. Lift your hands with me. Say, Lord, Lord. let the book push. Let the book push. Say, let the book honor. Let the book honor. Replace every shame, every shame by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I can say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let the book push. Let the book push. Replace. I don't know what I, I felt that body in my spirit and I was restless whole night. The Lord said there's somewhere right here. Somewhere right here. Say Lord. Lord. Say starting from today. Starting from today. Let double honor. Let double honor. Replace. Replace every shame, every shame by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Say from today, from today, as I pray, as I pray, let double honor, let double honor. See what they say with power. Say let double honor, let double honor. Replace, replace every shame, every shame by the blood of Jesus. This is fire. 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 This is fire.
there, sir. You have not been able to eat well. But the Lord said today, I'm releasing angels to guide you now, to surround you. I'm seeing like the, like something around you, like a cloth that cover you down. I'm seeing this black cloth cover you. I said, God, what is that? The Lord said, they are planning your funeral. But I hear God say, let you know that those who are planning your funeral, they will die before you. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the fire, the same fire burned them, the same fire killed them. I hear concern today. I want to know there's a release coming upon your body. I hear concern, don't doubt my word because right now God is fixing the things in your body in the name of Jesus. Touch, 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 touch. Are you ready for this? Yes. Are you ready for this? Yes. Keba te pane bade na bahanda boski shaba. Le praka de bahanda boski bahanda us. A pa le pruki shata kata bahanda us. Se pa le gide sister ka. The Lord is with you. The Lord is for you. But I see the hand. The enemy fighting you to and me because they say you will never end up in that place. But as I look at you, I saw God say to tell you, I open a door that no man can shut. I hear God says there are many times you cry to sleep because you are saying this condition has to change. But I'm here to answer you. I saw my angel putting on an anointing and an anointing point. But God said to tell you that you are right now surrounded with. Jesus and tongues. It looks as if you are with friends and families, but I see Jesus and tongues around you. That's why I hear God say to pray for you today. After now, before the end of this month of February, we're about to have a breaking news. For God said, My daughter, I don't know what's going on. I'm cutting one, two, I'm cutting three. I don't know, I see number three. I see three. I see three of you in your family. The Lord said, I tell you right now, there's going to be a breaking through. You are three. There's going to be a breaking through. I hear the Lord say, My God, my Father, there's a woman, there's a woman who's fighting you over a certain matter that you say, God, I need to deal with now. But I hear God says, If I be a man of God, I before, before the end of February, God will deal with that matter. I said, Oh, I am tired. If you are here today, I prophesy that God do to your enemies in the name of Jesus. Here, the Lord took my spirit and I traveled. I'm in the place, I'm in the workplace now. I'm in the place, but I saw one, two, and my three people surrounding you in that cycle, and in that cycle form. Then I saw God lift you up at moment. God said, Gabriel, my daughter, promotion is coming away for you. Ah. Even though they try to stop you, because as I touch you, take it, take it, take it, take it. Clap your hands and give God praise. We are in April 24. In April, April exactly, 
is that the enemy is trying hard. He's trying to make sure that your dream don't come to pass. And I'm here to announce you today. The Lord says, I will give you a new pathway to escape. Come on, how I say escape? I want to understand that your wife is not your problem. Is she here? She said, oh, your wife is not a problem. Huh? Our friends are facing your ears just now. Your wife is not a problem. But the Lord took my spirit. And I'm looking at somebody. And I'm looking at situation. And I saw is that somebody is finding the fame of fire. So the two of you will never be able to see. Because you were supposed to have done something with buying a property. Or some with an issue of some, 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 some financial... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Financial, what do you call it? Transaction. But I saw is that the enemy came and brought some level of confusion. But I hear Lord says, I shall open the new door for you. Yeah. 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 Jew. I hear the word Jew. 
Your body is a joke. Give us a wow. praise. You have to clap for the Lord. If you are clapping, clap for Him. Experience my great grace. Yeah. You will know that I am God, said Lord. The Lord said, Your prayer has been answered. Yeah. The Lord said, My daughter, there are many who don't know about you. They, they, they make jest of you. But when they understand there's power in you, God is raising you up into a healing ministry. Yeah. There's a call of God upon you in your life. I'm seeing somebody in your family. I don't know, but I'm traveling far. And I'm going to one, two, three. I'm going, I'm going to three, four, five, six, seven years back. And I saw a woman in your family. This woman looked like somebody. I don't know if like your grandmother. But this person is not alive today. But I saw in my spirit. And I saw one, two, three, four, five, seven. And I saw the hand of God. Begin to give you grace of your grandmother. Ah, can I give you a professor here? The Lord said to tell you that today there shall be a major breakthrough. As I stand here, I see seven angels open doors for you. If you are shouting, shout for her now. I saw seven angels open seven doors. I said, God, what is that? Because within the next seven months, there shall be a major torrent in your life. There's a property that God will put in your head, my daughter. But rejoice at God. Your time has come. If you are giving me a prayer, pray, give your prayer. Let's take care of purpose, it's your first time here, my sister. Your first time. I've, I've just spoken to you before. Do you know me before? You know me. Know me. Give God some praise, somebody. The Lord says, I will so bless you in the coming days. The Lord says, My daughter, you have been looking for a prophetic place. Because you desire the prophetic grace. As when you were small, God speaks to you in dreams. You are a master dreamer. But of recent, your dreams are coming blowing out. But as I taught you today, God will open the realm of the Spirit of you. I transpose you. I transpose you with the power of God. As I taught you, may your head be up. Head be up. Be up. Be up. Be up. Be up. Be up. Watch 
You will not die now because I will spare your life. You know you've been to a certain place, but there's no way out for you. But as I stand here, because in the next seven days, you will be the home. If you are happy, not for Jesus. That's about to rescue you. I hate those sins. God said, Don't be afraid from today. God said, I will heal you of whatever pain, whatever disease, whatever attack in your body. Do you know what you are going through is not just only medical, that's a spiritual attack? I saw an altar. The Lord took me and I saw an altar. I saw your name written at that altar. I saw your name in a bottle. I need this man to be here on Friday. Bring me a bottle. As I break that bottle, you're coming out. You're coming out. If you are here today, anyone in time, you, I promise you, you are coming out.
I don't know something about I, I hear the word J O B job. Sort of the job, the job. My part like I never, the Lord sort of tell you there's there's gonna be there was a controversy. We have not spoken for years now. But there was a controversy. This controversy came from a very close friend. And that's it, John. Controversy. But the Lord sort of tell you right now that you have just entered into another realm. As far as you are connected to this altar, there's a higher altar. Someone has some sort of higher altar. I saw a miracle taking place within these two months. What was supposed to break you will make you. I saw, I saw an elevation. What I saw was that the angel was, I, I saw the angel climb, you were climbing with the angel. You were climbing like, like staircase, 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 staircase. I said, God, what is the God said, I'm lifting him up now. I hear God say, within the next two months, I hear God say, I will give you something extra. Ah, what you are doing now, you are saying, God, I need something extra. I need something extra. Uh, I saw God giving him something extra. The Lord said, I'm going to position you right there. There's a money miracle that's going to come in your hand. The Lord said, don't be afraid. The Lord said, because as you open your heart to give unto the Lord, because I shall sustain you. As I sustain Elijah, I shall sustain you. I hear the Lord say, I'll tell you, people are owing you. Who? I don't know. I saw that they are owing you something. Hmm? And somebody is trying not to approve it. <laughs> uh, they are in a dangerous place. Not before me. As I stand here, I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. In 20 days, in 20 days, you are coming back with an approval. <laughs> Any, anybody that owes you, look at this. I prophesy any company, any company prostitute that's only you. I study and prophesy. They shall pay you now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord is going to give you a change. That's a change. I don't know if it's how to do it. A property, something, but there's a change coming. I hear God say that, that thing that's keeping keep you bound. For years, for years, you are saying, God, I need to settle. <laughs> you say, God, I need to settle. I'm going to talk to you. You settle now. Amen. Amen. We are in America, so we, we are always looking for time. I want to waste, I want to take too much time. So quickly, let me just share, share a brief one with you today. And... Uh, Expectation. Yeah. Expectation is the bridge. 
the grace of miracles. Amen. Amen. And once you are working with God, God will work with you. So quickly, the youth have spoken my mind already. Wow. Okay. They spoke my mind already, so they, they preach already. Amen. 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 But just to let you know that dominion is not a method. Dominion is working with a set of principles. Because God is the principal God. Since the beginning of the year, I've been speaking on this term, walking in dominion. Walking in dominion. Walking in dominion. Walking in dominion. Because you are meant to walk in dominion. So I say, I'm meant to walk in dominion. You are not as helpless, as hopeless as you think you are. Again, you are not as helpless or hopeless as you think you are. The weakest Christian is greater than the biggest devil. I can't hear that again. The weakest Christian is greater than the biggest devil. Don't let them fool you. Someone had I'm stronger. I'm stronger. I am bigger. I am better. No matter what you are going through today, let me say to you, don't let them fool you. You are not as weak. You are not as anemic as you think you are. You carry the blood of Christ. You carry the blood of God. There's something in you that the devil is afraid of. That's what the only reason why they are after you because you carry something. Say I carry something. Say I carry something. Yet I told you nobody goes after a nobody. That's why I'm here to encourage you today. As I close, no, oh, I'm close. As I close, let me say to you today that you are not going down this year. You're not going down. No matter what happened to you last year, last year is over. But this year, somewhere here, you shall dominate on your job, in your family, on your home. You shall dominate in the name of Jesus. Give you some free, some few principles. I have been ministering this for a couple of months now. Okay, so I'm gonna run down quickly for you. Number one, what are the principles of working in dominion? Dominion is all about knowing who you really are in Christ. So now speaks about your identity. Once you know who you really are, I don't mean who you are, but who you really are. It will change the whole equation. Yes. Someone says, someone says hallelujah. hallelujah. What I'm saying to you is this. You must settle the question of where you derive your identity from. Oh, if you are born into a family, listen to me, and you look different from the rest of them, then people will question who you really are. Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. If you have five beginnings, and four look like their father, and one look different. People start asking questions. They may not ask you face to face. They will ask behind you. They will say, "Ooh, that one don't look like them. They look like she went somewhere." Ooh, it's like this one. They ask questions because why? Every person derives their identity from their family. When you know you belong to a higher family, you can tell yourself, no weapon for me against me shall prosper. Because I know who I look like. I'm sorry I don't look like you. I don't walk like you. I'm sorry to let you know. I don't talk like you. I talk like my father. I walk like my father. And I look like my father. Yeah. That's my son. If he has no resemblance of me, then I will question God. Are you following me right now? Are you following somebody? Are you following me? Because you have to settle where you 
get your identity from. Somebody say amen. amen. Are you following me? Amen. Are you following me? Amen. Are you following me? Amen. So what I'm saying is that we are what we are holy due to God as we share in Christ's acceptance of God. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm just running through for you. Number two, I'm just running through for you. Just to, uh, number two. Are you following me? Amen. Dominion is about understanding that in you, somebody say in me, amen. true Christ is the power to lay hold onto the promises of God and possess them until the day of Christ's return. I want to say that one more time. Dominion is about understanding that in you, in you, as feeble as you think you are, as inconsequential as you think you are, as weak as you think you are, the meaning is understanding that in you, that true Christ is the power to lay hold on the promises of God and possess them until the day of Christ. The word of the John, to lay hold on God's promises and possess them, so you must learn to walk in faith and not by sight. So we say hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't have time to go through all that. Hebrews 11 verse 8 says, My friend Abraham, when he was called to go out in the place where he should go, receive an inheritance, obey, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. Remember that no matter your circumstances, you are a child of promise. I can hear that amen. I can hear that amen. I'm here. Sister Blossom, remember, no matter the circumstance you go through, you are a child of promise. You are not on your own. There's a promise over your head. There's a promise over your life. That's why the devil can't take you before time. I'm here to announce you. If God is for you, no devil can be against you. Lift your head. There's a promise over my head. There's a promise over my children. That's our promise all oh, my family. That's why I can die now. I said I can die now. It was just a power. Are you following me now? Amen. Not just a child of promise, but that you possess the power to assess and activate the promise. Because you're a child of promise, nobody can take you down. Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen. Totally. I just want to say, totally. Dominion is understanding that you can do. I love this one. What God says you can do. You can have what God says you can have, and you can be what God said you can be. Uh, yeah, God said that there's somebody in here. It means people have tried to marginalize you. That they look at your life. You look as if it is inconsequential, but I'm here to make you to understand that the dominion is telling yourself, I can have what God says I can have, I can do what God says I can do, I can be what God says I can be. What am I saying? I'm saying you to understand, hey, look with me, I want to understand this. Don't allow yourself to be engrossed in man's interpretation, but be engrossed in God's penetration. I can hear more than that. Hear me. Men of you today, you are too much enveloped by what people say concerning you. I've led many years ago to shut down my ears, to keep my head hard, to keep my shoulder hard. No matter what I'm going through, I know for sure I can be what God says I can be. Here the situations we come, it's just for a moment. It will last for too long. That's what the Bible says. There's a season for everything. I'm here to let you know your season of going down is over. I came to let you know that in this year, God will raise you up. You will rise. You will rise. You will rise. I can be what God says I can be. 
it means, it means, ladies and gentlemen, don't let people marginalize what God has called you to maximize. Before the enemy can take you down, then we have to devalue you. Hello, somebody. They put you down. They devalue you just to make sure that you don't believe in yourself anymore. But I've learned to trust in God. I've learned to believe in God. That no matter what I'm going through, I know for sure there's my God that never failed. He's always by my side. In the midst of all I've been through, I know for sure that my God never failed. The Bible says it is the same God yesterday. It is the same God today. The same God forever. The same God that brought out that yes, Shadrach and made a pinnacle. He will bring you out of the fire. He does you some fire.
over any circumstance by relying on Christ and the strength. So what Paul was saying here, he was not just saying that he can do all things. He was saying he will prevail. Which means at the end of the story, at the end of the situation, no matter what pressure I go through, no matter the pain I go through, I know at the end of it all, I will prevail. That's why you can stand in the midst of the battle. You can stand in the midst of the pain. You can stand in the midst of the trial, the accusations, and all the stuff that are thrown at you. Because you know at the end, God will grant you victory. I promise I hear, before the end of February, you shall get victory. You shall get victory on your job, in your home, in your business. So I'm a victory. A victory song. I'm hearing a victory song in my ears for someone right here. The devil have tried to lock you down for many years, for many days. I'm hearing God says before the end of February, there's somebody here. God shall give you a new victory song. The devil is a liar. Open your mouth and show victory. Show victory. The Lord wants me to tell you that the hand of God is upon you, son. Yes, son. God said to tell you, His hand is upon you, son. I'm going to go slowly so you can hear me accurately. I don't know who you are, sir. It's your first time here. Your first time here. I hear the Lord said to tell you that you are a strong man. But the enemy have been fighting you this for many years now. You tried everything, but they ridicule you. They lock you down. I see you had money before, but now all your money has gone down the drain because the enemy have been fighting your body for many years now. But I hear God says something happened about five years ago. About five years ago, something happened to your body that your body shot down and all of a sudden from that day onward till today you have never been the same again but I hear God says within the next three days I shall visit you as I give you no destiny for losses those that mock you those that spite you those that walk away shall walk right back into you I hear the Lord says son of man don't be afraid as you are not God to penetrate your life you will see his hand move again upon your body. I hear Lord say to tell you that don't be afraid. You are not alone. I am with you. And very soon you will have a testimony. You have a testimony. I hear God say, tell my son that there's a major breakthrough coming for you. But the enemy says, in fact, I've seen you, is that they owe you a certain amount of money. Something had to do. I don't know what with is this some benefit, some benefit. Some benefit. I'm hearing the angel of God tell to me about some benefit. Uh, the Lord says, Oh, you see, I'm, not, I'm just watching right now. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. About five years ago, all this began to happen to your life. God says, I will bring divine favor upon you. And you are going to be restored again. The Lord says, Don't be afraid. I'm the Lord that's able to restore the years, the power one, the caterpillar, and the locusts have eaten. I hear God says, keep your eyes upon the Lord. Be faithful to God. Stay in God's presence. You will see, you will see your joy be restored. Amen. I see God bring back your family together. Your family, like the enemy came and broke some things up. Amen. Because I will bring them back together. Amen. You are a man. You have seen God. You have seen God. You have seen God. You have seen God in your days of youth. You have seen God. You pray to God. You cry to God. Ah, my God. I saw a Bible on your chest. I saw a Bible on your chest. I saw a Bible on your chest. God said, yes, you will carry my word. I said, you will carry my word. But yes, 
the enemy afflicted you, the enemy, the enemy came and destroyed and ransacked all that you have labored for. But I hear God said them to tell you today, your labor will not be in vain. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Your labor will not be in vain. As I stand here, God says to anoint you right now to let you know that from today your new beginning has come and I, the Lord, shall favor you. You shall know that He is God. So the Lord says, Don't worry, my son. God says, The all that you are going through will be over very soon. In the, give me the honor. I anoint your head today. May the hand of God bring order to your life. Hey! Hey! I'm sharing some tears because I'm becoming emotional. The Lord just opened my eyes to see what happened to you. And I saw that you were knocked down by your enemies. Because they were fighting over certain things. They knocked you down. The Lord says, I shall restore you again. your hands to heaven. Ah. As I was praying for that man, I felt okay. I felt God. He rag. I felt God do something. Uh, God will do something for him. Amen. Amen. What I saw is not is not ordinary. It's like it's like I saw an arrow. An arrow came like I just shoot him down. Kaba and I will shut. If you have every evil arrow, not on my watch now. Every evil arrow that will come upon your life, upon your family, your children. I stand here today. I announce every evil arrow that will shoot at you that arrow shall be fire in the name of Jesus Conspiracy. 
If you are here today, if you are here, all heads bow, all eyes closed, please. All heads bow, all eyes closed. If you are here and you you have not fully accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you want to accept Him today as your Lord and Savior, please. Please, I am begging you, don't leave here without accepting Him as your Lord and Savior. You might say, oh yes, the service was good. No, 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 no. The greatest time of the service is when somebody gives their lives to Christ. Amen. So if you are here today, whether you are a young boy, you are a man, a woman, or a big, doesn't matter who you are, please, I am begging you, I just want to pray, I pray our faith with you today. Don't leave here without being touched by God. So if you are here right now, please, let me see your, let me see your right hand up. You want to accept Christ as a Lord and Savior. You want to be connected to Him right now. You want to receive the power of the video. Right now, I am begging you right now. Thank you. Lift up your right hand. That's it. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Lift it up high. That right hand. Lift it up high. Lift it up high. Thank you, Father. Now, as you lift up your right hand, just stand your feet with me. Stand your feet. Stand your feet. Then lift up both hands now. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all. All to be my blessed Savior. I surrender all. I surrender. Jesus, I confess, I confess, I'm a sinner, I'm a sinner, I need a savior, I need a savior, today, today, I ask you Jesus, I ask you Jesus, to come into my heart, to come into my heart, be my Lord, be my Lord, and my savior, and my savior, forgive my sins, forgive my sins, forgive my transgressions, forgive my transgressions, forgive my iniquities, forgive my iniquities, make me a new Make me a new today. Today, I ask you, Jesus. I ask you, Jesus, to send me your Holy Spirit. To send me your Holy Spirit. To live on the inside of me. To live on the inside of me. And teach me. And teach me how to serve you. How to serve you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me pray with you right now, Father. I thank you right now for this one, God. Father, your word says, no one come to you unless you draw. But that these are not mine, they are yours. I have no power to save anybody. So, Spirit of God, I commit their lives in your hand. I pray, oh God, as they are knowing them, Father, put a mark of distinction upon them now. That from today, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Every power of hell that will target them from today. I destroy that power now. Father, I decree whatever they are looking for for today, receive grace to receive it now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give me the oil quickly. Let me just anoint them quickly. Give me the oil. Just come as I anoint you. Quiet. Just, just sing, sing, sing a song quickly. As I anoint them quickly. Uh, thank you, Holy Jesus. Come, come, come. Hallelujah. Man of Man of God, the Lord is with you. God says, don't, God says, don't be afraid. There's, there's something that the Lord wants to put in your hand. Before the end of the year, you will celebrate. The peace of God will be, be upon you. Hallelujah. Come, sir. The Lord is with you. The hand of God will be upon you. There's a major favor that's coming. I break that yoke over your life. I hear God says, you will sign the document very soon. You will sign it very soon. Favor has been granted. 
receive it. The grace to stand. I mark you. I mark you from today. God will supply your needs. Fear not, my son. Because favor has come upon you. Man of God, stay faithful to God. Stay faithful to God. God will be faithful to you. I hear God says, don't worry. Things are going to turn around. This year you will settle. Favor of God. Favor of God. I break that cause to your life. Every stagnancy is over right now. You will not have to say, Where is God? Because you are found in that. Young boy, I pray for you today. God shall elevate you. You shall become like David. You shall rise like David. You will fight all the battle, but you will have victory in every battle. a financial miracle.
Because I walk in the realm of spirit. I just heard somebody not say amen. Let me tell you why. Because you are looking at your your honest. You are looking at where you're walking. You are looking at <laughs> you are here, you are here some years ago, right? Is it Barbara? I gave you a word that you're gonna get some money up your feet. Within seven days. Within three days. Money enter money enter account. And it, it was thousands. It was thousands of dollars. But I remember you could you send me a thousand dollars, right? You gave me a thousand out of the thousands. We don't talk. We don't talk. We hear the Holy Ghost. Think. And once you understand the power of God, God will shock your enemies. Yeah. I want to say one more time. If you have missed the first time, don't miss the second time. I prophesy here. We will be there three days. Anywhere you hear the sound of my voice, receive a financial miracle now. In the name of Jesus. It's not screaming. It's not shouting. 
it is in obeying the laws of God. God works with certain laws. Hello. If I Hindu my use the law, it will work. If I Christian use it, it will work. If I Baha'i use it, it will work. Even if I'm not believer, use that principle, it will work. Why? Why? Can I tell you why? Because God will never go against his word. Doesn't matter who uses it. Doesn't matter who uses it. I want to challenge you today. In your giving, step up this year. Someone say step up. I don't like to demand. I challenge you. I challenge your spirit. I challenge you. So that when you start receiving, you are receiving at the next level. Someone say amen. amen. Because only if you move from the level you are, that's where God will move to. Someone say amen. amen. But you cannot be asking God for another level and you never give to another level. Hello. You cannot limit yourself and want God to break through. God works with you according to your faith. Amen. 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 What I've done so far in life is by faith. I've never seen it whole holy. I just walk by faith. Amen. 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 And God wants you to walk by what? By faith. I should receive a tithe and offering envelope. I don't want to waste too much time in talking about tithe and offering. But tithe and offering is what we actually release your financial destiny. Somebody say amen. amen. Why? Because your tithe is for your is for your protection. Someone say, someone say for my someone say for my protection. The offering is for your progression. Bible says, Bible says, Bible says when you give, and what giving back to you. The more you give, the more you receive. Now, I told you, your seed, I will tell you about the power of seed, not tonight, but your seed is very important. Amen. Never you stop sowing seed. Amen. Yes. Amen. Today, I'm sowing seeds. Because yes. what, what, Bible says, Bible says, as far as the earth remains, there shall be seed time and what? Ah, yes. So I challenge you today, under this special anointing, under this special grace, if you can make your tight, your tight, your tight is your tight. Your tight is one tenth of your income. I don't know. Your tight is one. But your offering, I want to challenge 50 of you here today. Who can give at least an offering of $200? An offering, just an offering. You can do more than that. Go ahead and do it. But in your offering, stop giving $5, $10, $20. That's not an offering. An offering is, a, an, is an offering of love. How much you love God? How much you love His house? How much you love the things of God? The church can never progress if the people don't give based on love. Amen. What progresses a church is a people that give. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, I know this. I have been in this right now for over 20 years. I know this. What's your name again? Andre. Andre. Little bear is Andre. I like the young man. I like, I like him. If you see the letter, I just, I'm praying for, for, for men. Ladies, don't be selfish. Don't worry. By Friday, I'm going to hit you real hard. Sometimes I hear you. I hear you. I'm going to hit you real hard on Friday. Amen. Andre, the Lord says to tell you, He's going to give you beautiful ashes. I want to understand, sir. You have intelligence, you have ideas, but none of them is working. Because I'm seeing an angel right now with you. And the angel opened a page before me, and I saw the page. And I said, God, what are you showing me? He said to tell him. He said, because what I saw is that the more you try, the more you try to invest, ah, the more you try to, you know, you know, to make this happen, things are just stagnant. They are in one place. 
you are supposed to uh, 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 acquire some level. Is it some property or something? But 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 the more the more you try, the more you try to acquire, the more I see I see a fight. But this fight is not you. I'm seeing an ancestral power. I'm seeing a force. For the better ground fighting you. Uh, call Robert Shaka. I saw in you know, even if you if you observe about two weeks ago. I take you back. Two weeks ago, you had a dream. It was like, a, like on Thursday. On Thursday, at about one between 12 and 1 something in the night. You woke up to use the washroom. Because of the dream you had. But I saw in that dream. It's like somebody was trying to oppress you, like take away. Uh, there was a fight in that dream. But the Lord granted you power to dominate. The Lord said, I'm telling you right now, God said, this year you're not going down. I saw one, two, three, four. I saw four projects. Four projects. Four projects. But none is completed. And I'm here to anoint you with the power of completion. Yes, that from today, Andre, whatever you put your hands to do, it shall be completed. If I hear your amen, God shall bless you. Never complete. I, I said, God, what is this? My father, I saw it. I saw it. Anything, anything, do never. Even in the house, will be half. I said, What? The Lord opened my eyes. I saw powers fighting my father from the own house. Yeah. It's a family house fighting him, his own, his own relative fighting him. And I said, God, will this follow me? God said, Don't break it. I complete it. Yeah. If you are here, I give you the grace. Yeah. Anything you want to do in life, that building, that business, you shall complete it now. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Andre, be very careful. Because the Lord, you know, the Lord said to pray against. I, I, can't, I can't say this on the phone.
she's a she's a tiger. She's a giver. Yeah, she's a giver. I spot her Friday night. Uh, uh -huh. She's a giver. She's a giver. She's a giver. I don't know if you bring plenty today here. I don't know. But I know she's a giver. Yes, I know. I pick it up in the spirit. Yeah, she's a giver. She's a giver. Working mission of finance, right? Mission of finance. Uh -huh. <laughs> They, they, they are the one that's calculated the zero, 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 zero. <laughs> so where's your family that was supposed to come with you? That's the family. What's She? Okay. She was here finally? She's well. She's well. She's well. She's well. Hey. She looks different from her. Hey. She's well. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord will bless you now. Amen. You will see God in this place. Amen. Okay. Stay close. Mm -hmm. right? you, you, need, you need a prophetic grace. Yes. So stay close. In fact, I, I connect you here already. Amen. 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 My brother, how you doing? Feel good now? Feel good? I want to see you more. Like you. Yes, like you. Lift up your tie, lift up your offering. Mm -hmm. Now I want this, I want to challenge you, please. There's, there's a way I give, you know, there's a way I do things. <laughs> people don't know. I don't force nobody. People, people would like, I don't force nobody. Who like, tell them, who like give, who don't like, don't give. Sapala <laughs> uh, But Friday, I've been doing a lot of prophecy here. Jesus, my time is gone. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? Young lady, how are you? You are? Good to see you. You're looking, you're looking like. You're looking strong. Shoot me again. Hey, God bless you. Are you blessed here? You sure? You sure? You sure? Because when I saw you right now, you are carrying a body on your shoulders. I'm looking at you right now, you are carrying a body on your shoulders. And I asked the Lord, why is she carrying the burden on her own? The Lord's going to tell you, is about to unleash his power upon you. That will cause you to ride on your enemy's head. As I'm sitting right now, you are such a woman that's pleasant. You have a pleasant personality. You love people very easily. You give very easily. You don't hide nothing from anybody. You are such an open-minded person. But you took advantage of what God has blessed you with. You are such a person. You don't want to retaliate for nothing. You say, God will do it for me. And so many are taking advantage of that against you. Even wherever you are right now, your people come to you and they see you like the person they can talk to, they can receive from. But when it comes to your door, nobody wants to do it for you. But then I, then I saw the Lord right now, begin to tell me, he said, tell my daughter, he said, this year, things are going to change for you. The Lord says, my daughter, all that you have been blessing people, it's coming to bless you now. But I saw in the name of the Spirit, the Lord's going to tell you that even though you are in this house, but you are not happy in the house. The Lord will bring happiness to you again, so long, eh? because I'm seeing you. Your heart is too good to be unhappy, eh? because you are so much of a woman that eh? you trust people very easily. You give very easily. You laugh. You do, you do everything for people. But once you tell your time has come eh? for people to do for you, said God. Eh? I'm seeing somebody. I don't know, like Beatrice. Is that B? Is it B? Like a B? Like a B? Like a B? Is it B? 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 There's a name with let letter B. God's about to bring that person into your life to bring joy for you. I'm seeing somebody, I think it's a place of work, but I think it's a workplace, but I'm seeing God bring it to a place of divine connectivity. And I like the hear God say, before March ending, before March ending, before March ending, why am I saying March? But I'm going to April, then the end of May. In May, in May, in May, the Lord will give you extra beautiful action. But once the God says, yes, sir, what you have missed before in 2020. What am I saying? In 2020. In 2020. It was supposed to be in 2020. But it was cancelled. But this year, I start with you to establish it. This year, God will favor you. God will make it happen for you. God going to tell you, ah, Kandamosa, this is a year of divine experience. 
you experience God in another way, why do you think that sometimes you have this headache, this headache behind the back of your head? I don't know you, sister, but a lot of people speak to me to tell you. God said, don't be afraid, because I'm saying right now, it's like, it's like somebody, I'm seeing a, an evil hand laid upon your head, and this hand is trying to bring confusion. So when you see that, you just get confused, and you don't know what's going on around you. But today, I break the spirit of confusion, and I bind that spirit that, ah, that that hand that was laid upon you, I command that hand to be there by fire. In the name of Jesus!
Say with me. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Okay, okay. Now open your eyes and watch me. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord put a paper in your hand. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord put a paper in your hand. Okay. And this paper, I'm seeing like a courier service. Okay, I'm seeing like a courier service coming. Manta pray Kalaba Osha. What am I saying? I'm seeing like between the second week of March. Second week of March, there's be a, you're going to get a miracle. It's, I just saw the angel of God delivering. I saw delivering. Hmm? Just like, you know, Amazon come and deliver stuff. I saw delivering. It's coming. The Lord said, your faithfulness has made a way for you. Be faithful. Remain faithful. Keep being faithful. God is about to shut the mouth of your enemies. Aha. Uh -huh. Somebody was thinking. They will laugh, but God said you will laugh the last laugh. And why the Lord took my spirit and I'm moving now, I move, I move, I move, I move, I move, and I'm somewhere in September. But I just have to know I went to October. I went in October. And then in October I saw, I saw like I was some chat. Mark my word. I'm I'm seeing, I'm open, because Lord, I'm open, I'm seeing a pit. I'm seeing I was some chat. And in this chat, I saw a date. And in the day, I saw 2025. Hmm? I saw God say to tell you, get, get ready. God said, don't be in a hurry. I'm preparing something great. Amen. How are you? Is it good now? Very good. Uh, uh, Tisha, how are you doing? Very good, very good. Stand. You know, look, God is giving, bringing increase to your life. Okay? The losses, there were some losses that took place. Okay? But God is bringing increase. And right about now, there was an issue that you have been dealing with since the beginning of this year. <laughs> since the beginning of this year. Okay? The Lord will put it to, to an end. Before February, before the end of February, you will see what I'm talking talk, 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 talk about. Before the end of February, this month, you will see God bring it to finality. And by the first week in March, get ready, your joy has come. Amen. 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 Anybody want to swear a seat quickly? Let me pray for you. Anybody want to swear a seat? Want to swear a seat quickly? Let me pray with you quickly. If not, if anybody have a seat to sow, please come quickly. You have a seat to sow. You have a seat to sow. Pray the baby to be dedicated quickly. Because this is America. Everything is quick, 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 quick. Yabe, you know, yabe me talking like talk fast, 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 fast. Come, come, come. Who's the baby? Where's the baby? It's your baby, brother. Go back again. Go back. Go, 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 go back. Go back again. Go back. Go back. Now go back. Go back and <laughs> so you gotta be dancing, dancing. and come, come with the baby. Okay, you ready? You ready? Today is the day of joy. A day.
children are very important. Yes. Yes. You don't understand. This look at this child. This child today might become a president tomorrow. Amen. 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 The way you handle the child now determines what the child will become. Amen. So it's very important. The Bible speaks about clearly that throughout the ages, godly parents have presented their children to the Lord in dedication. Someone say in dedication. Yes. Today, you have followed a noble heritage in presenting your child to the Lord. You enter into a solemn relationship with God who keeps his covenant to a thousand generations. Why dedication is a worthy act, you must understand that it offers no saving virtue. Dedication does not guarantee your child's salvation, for this requires a personal commitment that each one must take on his own upon reaching the age of awareness and accountability. Salvation is obtained by grace. Someone say by grace. By grace. True faith in Jesus Christ as personal savior and upon repentance. Though dedication ceremony does not save, it is nevertheless a very important act of faith and declaration of intent by the parents to provide Christian nurture for their child. I want to ask you a question, brother. Where's, where's the mother? Come, 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 come. Yeah, face me, yeah, face me, face me. Be careful, sorry, be careful. Be careful. Now, believing that this child is a gift from God and that God will hold the two of you accountable for this child, do you now solemnly confess that it is your purpose to dedicate this child to the Lord and to his service? Will you pray and will you pray for this child? Instruct this child faithfully in the doctrines of the Christian faith. Will you teach this child to read the word of God, to pray? And to lead a holy life. Will you take him faithfully to the house of worship to attend the services and do all that is your power to bring him to the knowledge of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? If that is your prayer today, I want the two of you to say, We will. We will. Amen. Say it loud now. We will. Amen. Clap for them, church. <laughs> Where's Pastor Kalen? Get the boy and I'm ready to start. It's very important. Uh, who are the good parents? Your parents? You? Wow. Good parents. Good parents. You must have plenty of money. <laughs> you better understand the word God. God, which means God parents. You are standing in place of God. So if the parents say, I ain't got, he say, go and meet your God parents. Eh? Your parents cannot say, me too now, get. Because we, anytime we come, because we all ask God, right? God must give to us. Amen, somebody? Amen. God. So, God parents, you already know. You already know. God parents, is plenty, plenty money. I always tell people, I always look for people who have plenty money to ask your God parents. Hey, hey. So, if, if I don't have, you will go to my God parents. My God father. Really shy. Stretch your hands to where this shy. What's the name? Kerry, Ken Bruce. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up Joshua, Kerry, Bruce before you. Father, we commit this child into your hands. Let your grace take over, Kerry. We decree today every ancestral power that we want to walk against his destiny, we hereby dethrone them. Lord, I stand in the office of a prophet and I prophesy into his destiny. This young man shall be a young man of valor, shall be a young man of power. You shall be a man that's after God's own heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God choose you at the very early age. God spoke to Samuel at the age of two. May God speak to you now. I prophesy over your destiny, young child, that this day you shall be the head of the team. You shall do well in your life, in the area of education, in the area of your uh, of, 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 of entrepreneurship. You shall do well. May God Almighty bring all that to your to your life. Yes, Young Kevin, I say to you today, by the grace of God, no sickness will, de will destroy you. No pain will stop you from achieving your destiny. When others are falling ill, God shall protect you. In your going and your coming in, I break every spirit of infirmity out of your life. Whatever is connected to any ancestor,
ancestral corpse. On this altar is thereby broken. Carry it. May God Almighty lift you above your contemporaries. You shall be a child of example. You shall be a child of evangelism. You shall bring others into the kingdom of God. Young Terry, I pray for you today. May, may your head be anointed to carry God's glory. May your ears be anointed to hear the voice of God. May your eyes be opened uh, to see clearly the river spirit. Uh, may your mouth receive the power of power of praise. Uh, may your hands be anointed to do well in life. Uh, may your feet, uh, may your feet travel to places. Uh, every short door shall be opened. Uh, any way you enter, that door is opened. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I pray your heart uh, that no evil will go into your heart uh, at a very tender age. Uh, that only the good things of God will enter your heart. Uh, no evil woman or man will take you out of God's presence. May God Almighty crown you with His grace and power. May you be a child of, of faith of God. May you never go down. You will not die before time. You will grow to old age. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So Father, on this day, by the grace of God bestowed upon my life, by the special anointing Father, I now officially dedicate Kerry, Joshua, Bruce as your property Father, that no witch, no wizard, no power head will take over his life. Father, today I, I send, O oh God, your hand of power to hold up this child. So today, we dedicate this child today. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. You got a boy, you got a girl. <laughs> come on. Stop, come on. Yes. You will cry. Wait, hey, hey. Hey, hey. I'm very stubborn too, you know. Hey. Hey. He's only a stubborn guy, stubborn man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let me pray for the good parents. Father, I thank you for all the good parents. I pray God will shower you with blessing. I pray money will not be a problem. I pray as you support this young child, God will support you. Whatever you spend upon this child, God will give you double. Amen. I pray for an increase of health upon you. Amen. Increase of wealth upon you. Amen. May you live and not die before your time. Amen. Because of this child in your life, may you begin to prosper now. Amen. Every area of your life, receive favor. Amen. In the name of the Father, favor. In the name of the Son, favor. In the name of the Holy Spirit, favor. In Jesus' name, somebody say. Amen. Bless you. Do we have the certificate? Okay, you will get it later. All right. God bless you. Clap your hands for them. Sister on the floor, I see just now. The Lord is going to increase upon your life. What is this? As you put the seed in my hand, I saw an open door. I saw an open door. This door just opened wide. Okay? I don't know what it is, but I saw the door open wide. The Lord says, walk through. Because you walk through. As you walk through that door, uh -huh. as you walk through that door, I'm seeing you connecting with two people. I decree that door that God has shown me, you're going to walk through that door with favor. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Everybody else, Amen. so you see me. Amen. Makura Bashata. Bati Kile there's a new grace and a new anointing come upon you. As you, as you walk towards me, I saw a wind, a strong wind blow. And this wind was carrying power. I said, God, what is that? God said, I bring you into a season of power. There's something that God wants to break in your family that he will bring to you. I start with you. Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. I start with you right, and I break it. I break it. I break it. Woman of God, you're a woman of faith. You know, you're a woman of faith. God said, don't be, don't be moved. 
you are going to receive a miracle. Yes. Verse is like a big miracle. <laughs> Even right at that place of the world, there's a miracle. Amen. I just saw my angel go there. Amen. It's done. I'll talk to you. It's done. It is done. Amen. Amen. We're going to die. The Lord says, what he has started, you're going to finish it. Amen. When I look at your hand, I saw in your hand, I saw God was pushing some papers, pushing some papers in your hand. Okay, these papers, I don't know what it is, but I saw God pushing papers in your hand. When I look at the Spirit, God said to pray that, that I have, this papers will not be intercepted. Mm, will not be intercepted to cause delay. Ah, to cause delay. God said delay is broken. Amen. Delay is broken. By June, by June, by June, by June, I see you celebrating. You see the grace of the power. Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. There's something you want to complete. God said we'll finish it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's done. Quickly, it's done. Kappa Shakalaba. It's done, my sister. Amazing God. Receive grace. Receive grace. Sister. I want to know. I want to know that God is working it out for, for you. Uh, this is what I'm hearing God say, tell her. It's ayata ta 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 Decree it is done, it's done in your favor. Ah, they have been trying to reverse it, they cannot reverse it because it's ah, it's not pack up 90 days. Pack up what 90 days in 90 days. I said, What in 90 days you are going to be rejoicing in Jesus' name? It's done, it's done. Nobody's ready. Remember my Jesus. Now, if you, if you don't have cash, you can sew up on Zell. You can go on Zell and sew. If you don't have cash, you can use Zell. Okay, anytime I'm doing this one like that, you want to use Zell, it's okay, you can use Zell. My Zell email, just use my email, evangel at yahoo.com. E V A N G J O E L at yahoo.com. You can sell it. Doesn't matter, you don't have to bring cash, you can sell it. Hmm. Sister, there's there's a there's there's a movement. There's a movement. There's a movement God is giving to you. There's a movement. Hmm? And it's not just about a job, but God wants to give you like an educational lift. Hmm? Educational lift. Amen. Educational lift. Thank you, Lord. Favor will follow you. Yes. You are a child of faith. Thank you, Lord. I'm seeing God, I saw like God, God told me to tell you, okay, that it's going to make a way. There's a thing you're not going to pay for. You will see God. As I stand here, the Lord's going to be tell you, it's going to make a way for you. And people are going to support you. And the Lord's going to tell you that, Mark told me, in the next two years, in the next two years, I saw you with a flying color, like a, like a, like a, like a big certificate. Like a big diploma or something, something. Hey! Kalabalaba o shaba. Mante kelebo koski ma shaba. You will bring joy to your family. You will bring joy to your family. There's, there's a major breakthrough coming through you. And your, your, your family will be excited because of what God is doing through, through, through you. You are blessed. Nobody's worship grace. The grace and anointing for favor. Mm. Somebody is trying to to work on your, your son, your children. Mm? But the Lord said to tell you, your prayer has been answered. Your prayer has been answered. The devil is a liar. They will not, they will not stand here. 
I stand here right there and I push back. I push back, I push back, I push back. Talk to me after. I push back. Okay? Then sometimes you see, okay? But the Lord's going to make it for you. Amazing. We see grace. We see grace. The moment I touch you, I saw body. I saw like like something lift up your shoulder. Hmm? The Lord said, I'll tell you right now, you're about to carry something else. Not not, no, not weight, but favor. Because you carry favor. There's something I'm looking at you somewhere. And I'm seeing, I don't know what I'm, what I'm, I'm looking at something like medical, like medical stuff. I'm seeing medical, medical stuff. I'm seeing something. But Lord's going to tell you, it's about to give you another level of favor. Hmm? And I saw joy coming. I saw joy coming. This joy I'm so, I saw coming, it's going to break you for, for you. The Lord said, what I've been waiting for has been assigned. In the next two weeks, you'll get it. That's who you are. The Lord says, tonight, He will visit you. Between the hour of two and three o'clock, mark my word. Watch me. Open your eyes. Mark it. I'm not. I'm not. Just mark it. Between two and three, you will have a visitation. You. As I enter your house, as I enter your house, as I walk towards my left, I enter your bedroom. Amazing. The angel of God followed me. Now I'm walking. I'm walking to your bedroom. Lord said, I will give her a visitation between two and three, and I will. God said, it, it will be a rude awakening. There's something you'll be, you have a dream. And in that dream, God will show you there are some things that God wants you to see. But tonight I pray, may God open your eyes to see. And what you see, favors shall come upon you. Pa. Receive grace. Receive grace. 